Here at the System Source Computer Museum, we wanted to make an exhibit to show how logic and or a knot could be converted into arithmetic, forming the basis of a modern digital computer. So we recreated the classic um, two-bit binary adder with a little bit of a twist. So now we can see whether the wire is on or off. So here we're going to turn on a binary one that goes through our exclusive OR gate, gives us a binary one as an output, so we have binary one. And for anyone who is binary impaired, we've converted that into a decimal one. We can add one to it, so one plus one is two. And again, we can see how that flows through our exclusive OR gate, our AND gate, and another exclusive OR to give binary two. We can, of course, add one in the two's position, so that'll be two plus two is four, or a three, or a five. We can add up any two numbers as long as the sum is less than six. Aubrey and I had fun um, constructing this display. We started with a piece of two-colored plexiglass, so it's black plexiglass with a white uh, finish on it. Aubrey drew out the graphics and the text. We were then able to use a laser cutter at the Fab Lab, and that enabled us to take off the top layer and get the black lettering beneath it and with higher power laser cut the holes for the switches and the LEDs and the wires. We had a choice. We could have implemented this with regular logic chips. We chose not to and used an Arduino. It turned the logic into a little bit of a programming problem, but not particularly difficult. The nice thing about using the Arduino was that there was a shield that allowed us to um, turn on and off the electroluminescent wire. So the electroluminescent wire runs on about 200 volts AC, very low current. And of course the LEDs um, run on standard um, TTL level voltages. So here we have it.